So today I will I will try making some Benedict's uh, reagent and making some uh, copper one oxide. Okay, so I'm going to measure out ingredients for this, and uh, you can do it on larger scale. I'm doing for you know microscopic scale. So I will need five grams of sodium carbonate. And sodium carbonate is here to provide uh, the right pH for the reaction to happen. Okay, got that measure out. And now we're going to add some sodium citrate to it. Okay, and the sodium citrate's uh, purpose here is to make a soluble copper complex with the copper sulfate and uh, the general idea about this uh, reagent is that it can detect uh, presence of uh, reducing sugars like glucose or fructose okay and the last thing is going to be of course our copper source because you know it's all about copper we need to add some copper sulfate in fact you need very little copper sulfate only uh, 0.865 grams and these are all the dry ingredients and now I'm going to obviously dissolve them so I'm heating it up and you, you can still see there's some undissolved stuff but so I'm going to add some glucose to it as you may know is uh, glucose is a simple reducing sugar and yeah let's see if it works and this test is actually very precise I mean it can even tell you the exact concentration based on the color so uh, it is used to detect simple sugars in, in food or yeah in food generally okay so you can't really see anything happening so I just wanted to show that it's kinda getting uh, cloudy I don't know if that's visible on the camera but now you can see it's kinda getting orange so it's definitely happening slowly but surely now you can obviously see that it's almost red yeah so that is the uh, copper one oxide it is